Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Kyle here to do with you another uh, video this week. Um, got some news. Uh, I'm gonna be putting the boost controller in the car this weekend, hopefully. I guess uh, my buddy Eli came up and uh, he's down for the weekend. He was like, Yeah, why don't we put that in and tune you a little bit? So we're gonna be uh, making a few changes to the car. Um, I was basically st stage three, I just needed a boost controller and tune essentially. Um, I was a little bit reluctant on putting a cob tune on, so I kind of like didn't even bother with uh, waiting around or like uh, by putting it on. I wasn't in a rush to put the boost controller on, not without being able to get a, a tune by Eli essentially. So uh, he's down. He's like, "Hey, why don't we do that this weekend?" I was like, "Oh, sweet!" So uh, I didn't think I was gonna do it, but I probably will be doing that this weekend. I'm gonna be going to uh, the East Coast uh, Low Life. It's called the Block Party, is what they call it now. They normally do like a cruising crawl. Uh, but this year they're changing it up and they're going to do a, a block party instead of going for like a long drive and then uh, coming back and going drinking. They're going to do basically a car show, you enter, put your car in, and then um, they're going to, I'm not sure if they're going to do prizes or not, I didn't see anything on their on their page or not, but uh, they're going to enter, <coughs> enter the car, and then afterwards they're going to do like free cover at the Toothy Moose downtown Halifax here. Um, so that'll be that'll be interesting. Nice little uh, season finisher there. The leaves are all changing. It's getting cold. Um, so uh, a question that I want to ask you guys actually. Uh, by, I put my uh, video up uh, a few weeks ago now about the uh, the clutch and the flywheel and everything that I put in. Um, and I had a guy Boondocks Evo uh, message me on there saying uh, he had his, I think I couldn't remember if he had a, a similar setup or the exact same setup. But he had put a, uh, he had asked the question about my clutch master cylinder. Why are you like a million feet from the stop line? Shake my head. Please don't be female. Oh, you are. But anyway, back to the clutch master cylinder. I have a stock uh, clutch master cylinder in the car, but it's the one that uh, Mitsubishi had actually changed out in replace of the one that they had. Um, that they had originally put in the Evo, so there was a, a recall on it. Bring your Evo in, we'll put in a new clutch master cylinder. So I did that, so I have the, the new clutch master cylinder in this car. Uh, from what I was told by Sean, I never really paid much attention to it. I was just like, all right, yeah, whatever, clutch master cylinder, blah, blah, blah. Didn't care about it very much at all. Um, so Sean, the guy that uh, actually told me about the ACT HDSS uh, clutch and the uh, street light flywheel that I got, the same setup that he had, he said that uh, clutch master cylinders normally go after putting an aftermarket uh, clutch in and all that stuff. So uh, I came upon this on my video where uh, this guy, Boondocks Evo, had uh, there's people just getting out in the middle of the street in, oh my god, Halifax, Lord thundering Jesus, man. Trying to get on track here, folks. Um, Boondocks Evo posed the question uh, that he was told to replace the Clutch Master Cylinder with the Evo 8 or 9 generation of Clutch Master Cylinder. Now, I didn't do this, obviously, like there's no 8s or 9s around here, but uh, he did, and he actually had problems with his. His actually went where mine is stock and hasn't went, so he asked me the question of what I had heard <coughs> about this, um, about changing out the Clutch Master Cylinder. Uh, I have no idea, honestly. Uh, I didn't think I had to change it, um, but uh, both Sean and this guy, and I've seen on the forums as well, that it's in your best interest to change your Clutch Master Cylinder to an Evo 8 or 9 generation. It's, it must be like a beefier, uh, uh, design because apparently the more modern ones are just made of crabby plastic so uh, I would like to pose you guys a question about that about what you guys have heard because I've looked around on the forums and all that I've seen was to do these eight or nine swaps kind of deal with the clutch master cylinder but if this guy's having problems with what's supposed to be the solution I'm not sure what exactly uh, the proper solution would be or if maybe he just got a faulty clutch master cylinder uh, so both he and I would like to know the answer to that just so I can kind of budget in this getting this part uh, into the car because I don't want it to be like a oops now I need a clutch master cylinder and I have no car because I can't drive it so uh, let me know what you guys think and what you guys heard 
Um, I'm open to all ears. This is how I learn. This is how I do it. So uh, give me a shout on here, either like a personal message or just comment below so that everyone can see it. That would probably be best. Uh, and let me know because honestly, I'm very curious and I'm not worried, but it is something that I would like to know ahead of time so that I can prepare for it. So let me know what uh, you guys have or know about that. And uh, that's pretty much all I got, guys. Uh, it's coming to season end, so I'm going to be taking out the, uh, the winter beater here uh, shortly. Uh, it's almost the end of October, unfortunately, so I'm probably going to be putting the car away end of October or when frost hits, essentially, because I don't want to be dealing with that at all. Um, that's all I got, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay tuned for uh, another video in the future. Uh, very busy with school, so I'm trying to keep onto my schedule of like one video a week, but it's very, very difficult. I have a very big course load, and it's, it's quite overwhelming. So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.